Hi guys, what is up? I am Kuya Buzz and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will unbox the router from Zenda. I will also show you how to set this up through your mobile phones. If you're planning to buy a router, you might want to look at this one. This is the model Zenda AC11. Unfortunately, hindi not available in stores dito sa Pilipinas because it's retail shop for China. But we can always buy at Lazada since it's available naman siya doon. And it's priced around 1,200 to 1,500. Depende na yon sa seller. So if you're planning to buy a router and gusto nyo lang malaman kung nagbo-work ba talaga to, watch this video, let's unbox it, and let's find out if sulit nga ba na bumili tayo ng AC11 from Tenda. And as always, you can show your support through subscribing to my channel. And if you find this video helpful, you know what to do. Okay, so this is the model AC11. As you can see, it's all written in Chinese. For each Tenda routers, they always specify the model here at the bottom. How about we go on the back part of the box? The specification is around on this red area, which is saying that it has a dual band wireless connection, which is a 2.4 gigahertz and a 5 gigahertz, one port of one and three ports of LAN. And most likely this is for the devices that can connect to this router, which is around 25 to 30 devices. How about we go and unbox it? Okay, so this is what you can see inside. Some paperwork on how to set up the router, but still all in Chinese since it's not retailed for international. Okay, so we're just gonna put it here first. The next is the adapter which is 12 volts and 1 amp. It comes with a free LAN cable, a flat one, and the router itself. Okay, so this is the router. These five antennas here are 6 dBi high gain antennas. And at the back part, we can see that there's this power source, the Wi-Fi button, and the RST WPS button, the 1-1 one, one port, 3 LAN ports, which are gigabit, available also for IPTV. And the front naman niya, my 4 LED lamp, which is the system, the 1, the LAN, and the Wi-Fi. As for the quality, it's very sturdy, but it's very plastic at the same time. Pwede nyo din ikabit ito sa wall. As you can see, there are holes here. One thing to take note though, there is no power button here. Okay, so I think that's about it. There's really nothing much to say on the physical part of the router. How about we turn this on, we try to set this up on our mobile phone. Okay, so I've already set up the router over there. And usually I set up my router through my computer. But in this video, I'm going to show you a sample on how to set up using your mobile phone. Alright, so we're going to go to our mobile phone and go to settings. Connections. Wi-Fi and pick the tender since wala pa naman siyang Wi-Fi password. Then we go to Google Chrome and then here we're gonna type in 192.168.1.1 or you can also use 192.168.0.1 So here it's gonna ask for the Wi-Fi name which I'm not gonna change it yet. Then the Wi-Fi password. I'm just gonna leave this blank first and then let's just press OK. And you go again to the settings. Well, since it's been disconnected, you wait for it to reconnect again. Then now it's connected. We go back to the Google Chrome or any browser. You can use any browser app on your phone like Safari, Firefox, or the default browser on your mobile phone. We're already inside the configuration of the Rotenda router. And here you can see that it was able to detect the online devices. As you can see, there's a Note 10 here, which is my phone. And we go back to the menu and we go here to this menu bar to set up the Wi-Fi settings. All right, so here you can change the name of the Wi-Fi of your 2.4 gigahertz network. You can put the password here at least eight characters and you can also set the five gigahertz network and also another security password for it. There's also a guest network which is disabled and also a 2.4 gigahertz signal strength which you can choose to go for medium or low to just set it to high and for the 5 gigahertz strength as well here you can choose the network mode the bandwidth which i'll just leave it at default first and there's another settings here where 
you can put it on AP, universal repeater. You can also set a static IP address here and bandwidth control. Parental controls where you can set a schedule to allow your kids on when to access the internet and when to stop. You can set the date here and the time on when you want to allow them to access the Wi-Fi. And there's a sleeping mode. This is where you set the LED control of the router and also the Wi-Fi schedule. This is where you can turn on or off the Wi-Fi on a specific schedule. And then we go to advanced. You can blacklist all the devices that you don't want to connect to your router and IPTV. Currently it's all disabled, UPnP enabled, firewall enabled, and admin. Okay, so this is the important part because this is where you're gonna put the password of your router. So let's just put it here for now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This router also has this feature which is a remote web-based management where you enable it and you can access the configuration of this router through your browser. And this is also where you can online upgrade the firmware and reset to factory settings. Okay, so I'm just gonna press OK and it's gonna log out since I've put a new password on it. Let's put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, that's more or less on how to set up this router. It's pretty simple actually and pretty fast too. All right, so now we're just gonna do a simple speed test. So let's go to the Play Store or an App Store if you're using an iOS. And we search speed test. You can download the speed test application here. There's a couple of speed test apps, but the one I usually use is this speed test by Okla. And then we're just gonna start it. All right, so there you go. It has a ping of 12 ms, a download of 46.7, which is not bad because my speed is about 50 MB and the upload is 47, which is really good. All right, so I think that's about it. If you're gonna ask me if sulit nga ba yung router nito for the price of 1,200 to 1,500, yes, definitely very sulit. Kasi it has this 5, 6 dBi antennas, which malaki yung coverage for a larger home. And also you have the option to set the signal at low, medium, and high. The configuration is very simple and fast. Although it doesn't have that kind of premium kind of look or the feel is not really that premium, but you know, it doesn't matter. As long as it's doing what it's supposed to do, which is to give you a stable Wi-Fi, then that's definitely a good buy for me. All right, so I'm gonna wrap this video up. I hope that this video was able to help you decide if you want to buy this router. If ever you do, you can find the affiliate link down below in the description. Again, I'm Cleo Buzz, and thank you for watching. Bye.